When it comes to 3D printing, we ask an awful lot out of our print surface. One second we're fighting and praying to the 3D printing gods that our prints will stick down, but then when the print's done, we want it to just pop off cleanly without any effort. And the thing is, while that does happen sometimes, often we need to use various instruments and tools to pull those prints off the print bed. And by far the most common of those tools would be the humble paint scraper. But did you know this could kill you? Well, maybe not kill you, but certainly seriously injure you. And this is a video about how to not injure yourself with these tools. So on a serious note guys, every few weeks I hear horrible stories about people being injured by these tools with some of those stories ending up in hospital with stitches or sometimes even permanent nerve damage. And these paint scraper tools are razor sharp. They vary from some which are blunt but would have sharp corners to these sort of things which are double sharpened on both edges with a nice bit of rust added in for good measure. So in terms of good practice of using these paint scrapers, you really have to be careful because when it comes to 3D printing, some prints will stick hard to your print bed and it's that sudden pop where it pops free and slips. That's all it takes to cause yourself serious injury. So in this video guys, I wanna show you some techniques that I use to get prints off print beds cleanly and as easily and as safely as possible. So let's first talk about some other safety precautions you can take. So you can wear safety glasses, by all means, some 3D printers even come with those, and they're more useful for sort of protecting your eyes when you're taking support material off, but they still can help when you're taking the prints off the print bed. Also, gloves can go a very long way to protecting your soft, delicate hands to being uh, seriously injured by these paint scrapers. Although I will stress that some of the gloves that these printers come with are even not thick enough to stop these sharp corners from digging right through the glove and into your hand. It seems like common sense to just scrape away from yourself, but sometimes it's just really hard to get the prints off. So let me show you some techniques that I use to get the prints off my various printers. Let's start with the ups. So the ups have a print bed with a perforated surface and they print with a raft that embeds itself into those perforations. So 3D prints off the ups can be hard to remove. So I first flex the beds to see if I can pop them off like that. But if not, I've got this technique where I'll take the beds out, put them on my knee, have the paint scraper and scrape downwards away from my hand, away from any body part. And that allows me to put a lot of force onto the edge of the print that's near the print surface to pop it off. Now, it's a good practice to do this over like a cardboard box so the print will just suddenly release. Make sure it lands in something without breaking it. That can usually happen if you pop the print off too hard, it can just ricochet around the room and you end up damaging a print, which sucks. If you're printing onto something like build tack or similar, I've found that warming the plate back up can help release the part. So if you come back to a print that's been going all night and since cooled down, you might find that it's really hard to release those prints, especially if they've got lots of surface area. I find if you warm the bed up, maybe just for a minute or two, it can really go a long way to helping those prints cleanly slide off and stops you from damaging your print surface as well, which can really suck. If you get bubbles or tears in your build tack, you need to replace the whole thing. So try warming it up if you're having trouble getting the prints off that. For surfaces like glass, I found that you want to let glass cool down completely before trying to get the prints off. If it's still hot and you've gotten the prints to stick nicely, you're going to probably damage the print and worst case, crack your glass. So with glass, it's quite actually strange. It will completely self-release if you've done it properly and you'll hear the parts sort of go and crack and then just basically just come free. And the same goes for print bite. Print bite is a really nice surface where you warm it up quite hot and the print prints stick really well to it and then they self-release. Also, same goes for Garolite and although I haven't tested it, apparently the same goes for PEI as well. And then finally we have the range of materials that are sort of in between a really rigid surface and like a build tech material. One of those would be the Print Z skins and I'm currently using that on my CraftBot Plus. So the CraftBot Plus has a removable bed, it's an aluminium plate and the print stick unbelievably well to this. Warmed up or not, they are well stuck. So actually, what I tend to do is get the scraper and a mallet and I'll put it on the edge of something and just go tap, 
tap, tap, tap, and the shock will pop the parts off. Obviously, you need to be careful of what you're taking off because sometimes the parts might break, but for me, printing like my Maker Coins and some various other tests, just a quick hard shock was enough to release them from that much more resilient surface. So if it was like a build tech service, I wouldn't recommend this, but for the Print and Z skin, it seems to work quite well. So there you have it guys, just a few ways that I have sort of come up with over the last few years of releasing prints from the print bed without horribly injuring myself. And I will, I will be serious, I've been sort of gesturing with this, but honestly, all it takes is you to be distracted, tired, possibly intoxicated, or just one of those combinations of, of conditions to make one mistake, slip, and seriously injure yourself. We've only got two hands, and the amount of horror stories I've heard from these tools prompted me to make this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, and want to see future 3D printing videos on Makers Muse, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a huge amount. I'm here to please, and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. That's the one. Catch you later, guys. Bye.